one, eating one average baked potato is the equivalent of consuming 19 cubes of sugar, two, carb-based sports drinks are more beneficial if you just swill and spit them out, rather than swallow them, three, you can measure your body's susceptibility to bad carbs with a test where you simply eat a cracker, the biscuit type of cracker, that is, not the sort with a novelty hat inside. 4. Dr. Exan Van Tulken, this show's presenter, used to weigh 19 stone. 5. It gets awfully irritating, don't ask me why, when a TV presenter insists on saying carbs the whole time, rather than carbohydrates. 6. Carbs are in everything, from biscuits to bread to broccoli and beans. 7. Surprisingly, they are also found in some foods that don't start with a letter B, such as chips. Actually, I have a feeling I already knew that. 8. Cutting down on the wrong kind of carbs. There, see, he's got me doing it now. And eating more of the right kind can have the most extraordinary health benefits, often in a very short time. Needless to say, it was the last of those points that Exand was most desperate to drive home in last night's show, rightly so, given some of the grim statistics he delivered at the start, highlighting Britain's record levels of obesity and diabetes. But first he wanted to explain to us exactly what he meant by good and bad carbs. So he did, and unless I've scribbled this down wrong, which is quite possible as I have worse handwriting than my dog. What he was basically telling us was, eat less starch, found in potatoes, rice, pasta and bread, eat less sugar, found in fizzy drinks, sweets and processed foods, and eat more fiber, found in fruit and veg, all of which, put like that, didn't sound like particularly new or radical advice, nor especially hard to put into practice. But then, of course, we're all different. Having admitted that his own weight had once ballooned, ex and confessed, I absolutely love eating carbs, this did seem an odd, rather doctory way for him to phrase it, what's your favorite meal, ex and ooh, carbs and saturated fat, no doubt about it, yummy, but we got his drift, the most tempting treats tend to be those containing the most harmful carbs, whereas the good carbs can sound a bit dreary. The show's overriding message was that we should snap out of that mindset, with a little imagination, it was saying, good carb-based meals can be just as tasty as those made with bad carbs, and their benefits life-changing. So I'm hoping Exand will now bring out his own good carb cookbook. In the meantime, I shall simply eat my body weight in sprouts. Elsewhere, Grenfell, the first 24 hours, ITV, touched only briefly on the big questions being asked by the current inquiry. Instead, this was the human story revisited, as sobering first-hand accounts and powerful personal footage took us back to the awful events of June 14 last year. At night time I try not to look at it, said one woman of the burnt-out block in which 72 people lost their lives. It looks like a tomb.